Yo, what is up guys? It's the Goblin, and today's video I have one of the best TDMs I've ever got. It's freaking crazy, and today's gameplay, I'm gonna I'll, I'm gonna get, tell you guys the score. It's it's 59 to 0 here in TDM, and I got a good topic for today's video, but before we get into that, I want to ask you guys if we could hit six likes on this video. That is a big like goal, but if we could hit six likes, that would mean a lot, and uh, thank you guys for all the support. Drop a like, and let's see if we can get six people to do that. So, today's video I'm going to talk about, first of all, this gameplay, 59-0, the best TDM ever, a pretty extravagant title. And, no, I'm not claiming this to be a good gameplay. Of course, it's against noobs. I mean, uh, it's 59-0. to Obviously, you don't go 59-0 to to o against Optic Scump. But uh, it is still a pretty entertaining gameplay, and that's what I upload. Gameplays where I have fun and that are entertaining, and that's exactly what I'm going to do in BO3 as well. I'm going to get nuclears, I'm going to get 100 pluses, and I'm going to upload entertaining stuff. But today's topic for today's video is basically, what is the most important thing in a Call of Duty game? And it's so simple to me that I don't know why the developers don't focus on this more. The most important thing in a Call of Duty is the maps. The maps are the most important. Think about COD Ghost. Was COD Ghost really that bad of a game? No. The guns are pretty fun to use. The specials were pretty cool. Kill streaks were ass. But the thing that ruined the game the most was the maps. Are you kidding me? They put Stonehaven in the game. I don't know what they were thinking with that one. Stonehaven. They put maps like... I don't even remember the other ones. But they're just so big. The maps are freaking... I would have to walk for 30 minutes to get across that map in real life. Are you kidding me? Nuketown, I could run across that. I could race Usain Bolt across that thing. And that's why Advanced Warfare did the maps good. And that's something they did. They did a lot of things wrong in Advanced Warfare, uh, especially with the matchmaking and stuff like that. But the maps are something they did good. Think about the maps on this game. They have every map in Ground War. What are the worst maps? Probably this one, Instinct, which is still a freaking crazy good map. You can snipe on it with thermal. You can use your streaks. You can use a long assault rifle. This map is still pretty good, even though it's the worst one in the game. And Green Band, probably Instinct and Green Band are the most hated maps in this game and they're freaking good dude they're not even bad think about the worst maps from other call of duties think about freaking stonehaven oh there is no situation where i would want to play stonehaven i don't think i even played that map at all of ghost maybe once or twice i would back out every single time because that map is just not it's not fun man it's just too big you'd have to get them in a spawn trap and it's just it's really not the best map at all but basically in bo3 this is what I want to talk about. So Nuketown is coming back, right? And we've seen the sh screenshots. Apparently Nuketown has walls in mid-air above the bus and stuff in the middle, which I don't know what they're thinking with that. I mean, I guess it's like, oh, we want to incorporate our thrust jump wall running thing. Hopefully they don't ruin Nuketown, man. If you bring back an old map, don't ruin Nuketown. Nuketown was the best map in Black Ops 1. The best map in Black Ops 2. Or, I mean, debatably, some people will disagree with that. But don't bring it back into Black Ops 3 as sort of a leftover throwaway map. I mean, it's never going to be a throwaway map, though, because of how small it is. And that's basically what I want to reiterate with this video is small maps are always going to be fun. Think about Free Fall. Okay, a lot of people hate Free Fall. The map is designed horribly. Free Fall from Ghost is the DLC one, I think. Map is designed absolutely horribly. Spawns are horrible. But the map is so fun to play. And that's what I'm thinking. No matter how much bull crap is in a Call of Duty, as long as the maps are good and it's fast paced, it's gotta be fast paced. And that's something that Advanced Warfare is. Advanced Warfare is definitely fast paced. And I'm hoping BO3 will be like that. So far from the beta, I mean, Combine was extremely fast paced. The other maps were sorta, and eh, they're okay. But if we get more maps like Combine, like Nuketown, BO3 fast paced gameplays are gonna be so entertaining and Livecom is gonna be so entertaining. That's just my thought on the most important thing in Call of Duty. But I want you guys to tell me in the comment section below. You guys may disagree. You guys might say, the maps don't matter, man. All I care about is how good the sniping is. So I want you guys to say that in the comments below. I wanna read your comments. I really want comments on this video, man. I want you guys to share with me what do you think are the most important things. Maybe you agree with the maps. Maybe you think it's the guns. Maybe you think it's the DLCs. Maybe you think it's the perks, the attachments. You let me know down in the comment section below. They do need to fix the sniping in BO3. That's one thing I'll say. Well, what were they thinking, man? If you have a game, BO2, which is the most popular game for the snipers, probably. MW2, BO2 are probably the most popular games for the snipers. BO2 in recent history. The snipers love that. FaZe Clan eats that game up. Oh, let's make BO3 the sequel and make the sniping trash in it? What are they thinking with that? I hope they fix the sniping, man. Don't make it super ridiculous OP, but make it like Black Ops 2. I don't care about that, man. I want snipers to be happy. I want everyone to be happy on this game. I just want it to be a great, fun overall experience. Anyway, the best TDM ever. Just the title. Drop a like on this. 59 to 0. Hope you guys did enjoy. Pretty fast, too. 115 crapping on with the AK-12. Thanks for watching. Peace, peace. As always, subscribe for cooking. Don't look at my bros. Peace. Woo!